Hey guys, I'm Stef from Rakitems.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a new portfolio post. So let's go um, to our WordPress dashboard, VP admin, uh, log in with your, user, your username and password and uh, to create a new portfolio you just need to go to portfolio um, and click on add new portfolio. Okay, so let's uh, enter a short title. I'm going to use um, Nimba Portfolio. Okay, um, you can add a description. I'm just going to use some um, demo text. This is a lorem ipsum generated text. Okay, uh, you can uh, enter a new category or you can uh, select existing categories. I'm just going to select this one and this one. Um, one important thing that you need to do for your portfolio post is actually set a featured image. So click on set featured image. Uh, you can upload your own, own images or you can just use uh, existing ones. Um, okay, so um, I'm going to use uh, this image here. This is actually the exact image I used for uh, the um, post tutorial. So let's set this as featured image. And that's it. Basically, now you have a fully functional portfolio post. So let's click on Publish and View Post. Okay, so uh, this is how uh, your portfolio post uh, will look like. You have uh, your featured image set here. If you click on it, the light uh, light box um, effect will open the bigger version of your image. Uh, as you can see on the left, we have uh, the project details. Uh, the date is uh, added. Okay, because we haven't set any other details for our uh, portfolio. Uh, let's go back and scroll down, and you will notice here the general options. Uh, the first option that you will see is actually the width. As you can see, we have content columns. This means um, that you're using by default the full width, but you can also use the half width. Um, half width means that um, this project details section will actually come up to the left or to the right of the uh, portfolio, uh, featured image of the portfolio. So let's go ahead and update that to see what happens. Let's go back, hit refresh. Okay, and as you can see, uh, now we have the project details aligned to the left of the featured image. That's because uh, we are using the half width uh, uh, layout for the content columns. Okay. Uh, now you have here the, uh, this option called Portfolio Details uh, Position. Um, as you can see, uh, these uh, details are uh, aligned to the left of the featured image, but you can select this to be aligned to the right. Hit Update. Go back. Hit Refresh. And as you can see now, the featured image is uh, to the left and the project details are aligned to the right of the featured image. And of course the project uh, description um, comes uh, here in full width mode. Okay, let's go back. Uh, you have here an option to enable the sidebar, but this will only work if the full width uh, uh, option is um, selected. So we need to use the full width and enable the sidebar here. Um, let's go ahead and update, go back, hit refresh, and now as you can see we have um, our uh, featured image uh, to the left and to the right we have a sidebar. Uh, this is a default uh, sidebar. 
Uh, as you can see now, uh, the project description and the project details come uh, are uh, placed just uh, below the featured image. Okay, let's go back. Uh, for this uh, uh, option here, sidebar, you can select uh, an existing uh, sidebar. We have uh, these are the default uh, sidebars that that come comes with our Nimva team, the block sidebar, portfolio sidebar. Uh, of course, if you select the portfolio sidebar um, and update the theme, you'll actually uh, receive here a blank space because we haven't added any widgets uh, to the portfolio sidebar. But just to show you, uh, I'm going to hit refresh, and as you can see, um, we have a blank space here. Okay, so let's go back and for sidebar, um, select uh, if you leave uh, none. Uh, known uh, still the default sidebar will be uh, shown uh, because you have this option here let's go back hit refresh and as you can see we have a default uh, sidebar to the right okay you can still play around with the portfolio uh, details position and select left for for instance click update go back hit refresh and as you can see now the project details are uh, located to the left of the project uh, description okay let's go back another option that uh, you can see here is the page title and breadcrumbs bar you can again enable this uh, to show or hide just like uh, for a post if you click hide and update You'll see that this uh, section here will disappear complete completely. So let's refresh. And as you can see, the page title and breadcrumbs area uh, has been deactivated. Okay, let's go back. Um, and one thing that I forgot to mention uh, that for portfolio posts, you can also select a, a different position for the sidebar, just like for posts. So you have the default. Uh, value which will um, actually inherit the same option that you set uh, in the team options okay but you can also overwrite uh, that setting by uh, using these uh, settings here like uh, maybe you want to have a sidebar position to the left click update and go back hit refresh And as you can see, now we have uh, the sidebar to the left and all the content are, is uh, positioned to the right. Okay, let's go back. Uh, I'm going to disable the sidebar and um, let's choose show for the page title and breadcrumbs. Um, okay, I want to use the health width. You'll understand in a few seconds why I'm doing that. Go back and refresh. Right. So, project details. If you go back and you scroll a bit down, you would see here the project details um, with the following fields. You have the client name, project skills, website text, and the website URL. So, for client name, I can enter uh, Rocky Temps, project skills, I'm good with CSS, PHP, um, JavaScript, JavaScript. Uh, what else? Maybe some 3D uh, in Max, and that's it. Website text, I'm going to enter here um, rockytems.com and the URL http rockytems.com. Okay, click update, go back, hit refresh. And now, as you can see, the project details um, are showing the, all the other uh, details that we entered for the client skills and website, uh, which is pretty nice. Okay, so let's leave them. Um, I think uh, they would look a lot better aligned uh, to the right. So use this option, project details position to the right. Okay, you also have an option for the slider, which um, if you already created a layer slider by now, you can um, add it to your 
uh, to any of your portfolio posts. I'm going to use uh, again the uh, Nimba phone slider with background this time. Hit update and go back to your page and hit refresh. And now, as you can see, just below the title area, um, we have our slider and then the actual details of the portfolio. Okay, um, go back, disable the slider. We also have uh, some videos uh, which you can add uh, directly uh, in the same location, uh, um, the same location uh, of your uh, featured image. Update, hit refresh. Okay, so the slider is now gone. And I was telling you about the videos, the YouTube and the Vimeo um, options. Uh, adding a video, actually a uh, ID or for either YouTube or Vimeo will uh, add the, the video to this section. Okay, I'm not going to use these options anymore because they were already presented in the post um, tutorial. Again, you have here the video background. Uh, which you can uh, set and use uh, the custom styling. These options are the same for page, post, portfolio. Um, so you should um, take a look at the creating a post in Inva team to see uh, these options uh, in action. I'm not going to showcase them again because they were presented uh, in the um, creating post uh, tutorial. The last thing you will notice is the related projects at the bottom of your uh, portfolio post. And this section can be enabled or disabled uh, by going to the team options interface and go to portfolio options and for the single portfolio page you will have this option here, this option here for related posts. This means uh, that you can either show or not to show related uh, portfolio posts. So uh, turn off this option, click Save Changes, go back to your site, hit Refresh, and as you can see the related projects area has disappeared. Okay, so that's it for the creating a portfolio in the Nimba team tutorial. Hope you enjoy it. So see you next time. Thank you for watching.